Hello everyone, it's an ideal day for football here in London at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. It is Tottenham Hotspur taking on Liverpool. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Well, it looks like they're going to play in a 3-4-3 formation, but without wing-backs. So although they might have an overload in midfield, they will be vulnerable to any switches of play by the opposition. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Well, it looks like the same system, so it's all about winning the midfield battle. Whoever can dominate that area will control and probably win the match. Thank you. Enjoy the game. A match that should be chock full of talking points. Liverpool get it going. Emma Coivisto. Good tackle. Opportunity in the wide area. And let's give credit to the defending. Visto. Well, the cross was acceptable, but no one there to thump at home. Campbell and Liverpool might be able to cash in oh it's there for her keeper had work to do Over it comes. Not the best clearance. Well, they survived the attack. Moving Davis, forward Davis, effectively. Davis, please, please, Delightful please, please, please. pass. Must be. And fine goalkeeping. That'll be a Spurs ball. A wonderful intervention. Campbell. Well, possibly. Can they forge ahead? Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Simon it is a decent looking attack here and as a play it goes throw in coming up here
Liverpool have given it away. Jessica Naz. Wonderful chance. Oh, so near, but just unable to keep the shot down. Might really be able to trouble them here. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Can they take advantage of the situation? Crossing possibilities. Big chance. Oh, that's a fine save. Short corner it is. Could be threatening. Oh, great defending. Well, the stats don't lie. It's been very tense and an even battle so far, but neither side has played with enough quality to pose a real threat going forward, and that needs to change. Indeed, two trenchant sides, not giving very much away at all. Are they going to forge ahead? And there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. So back underway, and a wake-up call for Tottenham, perhaps. Zadorski. Naz. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper, and she hits it with power. It's a great goal. Half-time then, here in the English capital. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. It did look on for them, but not to be. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And attempting the through ball, and it's come off the keeper. Well, questions have to be asked defensively. Not that she's going to be worried about that. Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough.
Not what Liverpool wanted, the concession of a goal. But can they come up with a coherent reply? And still trying to get the shot off. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. She just doesn't want to give the ball away. Can they take advantage? Oh, could be! Oh, a superb save! Is it going to be? And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent. One and two touch passing, clever movement and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Celine Bizet Ild Husey. This looks threatening. In it goes! A three-goal cushion! This is astonishing stuff! Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever back heel. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Goals in plentiful supply. 4 1 currently. And it's with Holland, and reading it absolutely superbly. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Shalina Zadorski. Simon. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Really nice ball. That is a tackle and a half. Campbell. Jessica Naz. Take it away. An example of how to press. Ten minutes to go then. Well, doesn't have to do it on her own. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Well, great read there to intercept. Neville. Neville. 
could play it in. And she moves the ball with intent. A good and fair challenge. Well, totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance.